Hi guys, this is Ratchet so and today we are to play Criminal Case, Case 48, Blood in the Blender. Let's unlock Into the Future Part 3. Here we go, obviously, on Criminal Case. Hey Frank, long time no see, and you seem to be angry, huh? Oh, these two ones, why even give them emotions? But your sister is going too far with technology. Why is it so gloomy, Frank? Innovation isn't a bad thing. Having so many robots could be a bad thing. What if they revolt and enslave us? I hope my sister knows what they're doing. Okay, let's keep an eye out. Okay, what's going to happen now, huh? Katria, I keep thinking about Milo, Root's first clone. Now that his water god is dead, who'll take care of him? Katria, there's someone here to see you. I, I need to sit down for a bit. Okay, I think it's Milo, so why could have spoke to Shiv so badly, Katrina? Yes, I knew it, it's going to pop out here. Okay, okay, Shiv seemed to be very suspicious when she was talking like that, like she saw a zombie or a vampire, so it's Milo. Commander, Commander Katrina, a woman told me I'd find you here. Milo, I'm so happy you dared to leave the lab. I shouldn't have, people in the street screamed when they saw me, I made children cry. Oh dear, Commander Katrina, find a way to help Milo, won't be, there must be something we could do. Alright, I feel better. Katrina, I applaud you for wanting to help this man, but I'll have to wait. <laughs> okay. Every this cool, I decided to continue Ruth Campbell's search. I want you to check what she's working on. And smooth the lights want permission to open it again. Please make sure the crisis is clear before we do. Alright, well Katrina, we got our plate full. What should we start with? The choose bar or talking to Ruth? Okay. Oh, darling, you're here. <laughs> Okay, what should we do first? You know what? Let's go talk to your clone. See what you're doing, huh? Ruth, we heard you decide to take over Dr. Campbell's research. Is that true? Of course, you see, I'm me, but I'm also her. I got all her scientific ideas stored in my brain. So I thought, why not carry on her work? That will give me purpose in life. But her research was kind of dangerous and not very ethical, even if she did create you. Well, I don't really fully understand what I'm creating. It's a bit like following orders, but it's pretty good fun. Now, excuse me, I need to collect some test results. Okay. I mean, if Ruth doesn't even understand what she's doing, you better have a look at her research list. Research, let's search the lab. Okay. We are going to search her lab again. Let's see, what are you doing now? If not cloning, huh? Okay, well, before that, let's investigate the juice bar. See what we can find here to clean the, the crime scene to open the juice bar again. So, what do we got here? Okay, no blenders. That's good. <laughs> okay, notebook. Okay, we don't need that. <laughs> Dale, roll, uh, dolphin, uh, Soda machine, uh, where's the fishbowl? It's here. Pet friendly? No, that's not. <laughs> okay, this sign. Okay. okay, cupcake, where are you? Give me the cupcake. And faded paper, I think that's what we need. And I was right. We'll concert you as soon as an opportunity arises. Who? Okay, that's who. We're gonna need to cover that faded thing. Where did you find the stank at? I hope it's not another body pure in a blender. No, it's not. There are no, there are no blenders around. So, oh good, a harmless piece of paper. Although it's faded, let's remind, remind it that kind of thing. Okay, I gotta do everything. Just sit down when I, while I do my work. So, and you just use your phone to play games if you're bored. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What are you doing now? Route number two. <laughs> okay, room, rain, greenhouse, newspaper. Where are you? Do I need this? No. Okay. It looks it looks faded, and I didn't even read uh, what I need. So. Oh, safe. Okay. And we need a password, and I can do that without anyone's help. Okay, if I had those uh, skills uh, of earlier on, I could be a great team and not a cop. <laughs> great, if I'm safe in the lab, if Ruth or her clone are hiding it, it'll be in there. Let's unlock it. Let's unlock the safe. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I got enough stars. I got 11 of them right now. And 39 at uh, all of them out of 45. Oh, 
adoption form, see the adoption letter, adoption request, application number E4 4 f g h 5 will continue soon as an opportunity arises. Okay, who has that? Who is belong to that? What the baby value and juice prize and adoption request says we will continue as soon as an opportunity arises. Whoever we'll lost this must be hoping for a child. We will send the application number to Hannah so she can tell us who filed that request. Well, yeah, it's obvious. Curiosity killed the cat, Kadir. Yeah, luckily, you're not a cat, but a great detective. So this will probably turn out to be interesting. Let's get this file to the lab. Okay, so okay, half thing is going to be that woman again, Dolly. So six hours for this. Yeah, waiting is the worst thing. <laughs> okay, now let's unlock the safe. No, ah, uh, this one. And no, 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 this one. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, I had the paper. Next to Chuck, and you locked that safe like a pro. What's that paper inside? Hmm, the title says DNA research, but the rest is fake. Because, yeah, I'm cutting on you to reveal its secrets. Okay, well, you don't have to. I can do that without your help. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever, let's do this. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it's a DNA. Uh, what the hell? Is that supposed to be? Is it a binary code, huh? You record the contents of this research paper in Delta County. I don't understand what they mean, though, right? Let's send this to Hannah. Okay, another analysis to Hannah, and it's gonna take her longer when well, she's got this one and that one. So, yeah, we gotta wait to just to, to finish. Let's see a little bit. Hey there, I'm finally back. So, let's see what's this about. Adoption, you say? Oh, it's Dolly. It's her again. I accepted an adoption application and found it to choose Mark. They will never guess who filled this request. Sister Dolly. You think our sister Dolly is trying to adopt a child? But she's a nun and she's, well, old. Well, aren't you open minded, Amy? Come on, and you know there's no way her request will be fulfilled. Not when so many young, younger people are waiting to adopt. I I hate to say this, but she's got a point. I don't know why she wants to adopt, but Sister Dolly will never fulfill her dream. Unless, Katarina, you're a genius. You do know of one boy dreadfully in need of a mother, Milo. This is just my idea. Let's adopt Sister Dolly and see if she's on board. What do you want to adopt this guy, huh? Milo. He's a fucking clone f of <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's a binary code. We already guessed that from zeros and uh, numbers uh, and ones. <laughs> yeah. Research paper you found in the lab is incredible. Can the clone rune managed to break down DNA into binary code? Break down DNA into binary code? Sounds like biology meets computer science. In other words, I don't understand any of it. Help? Well, robots are programmed using binary code. Like us, humans are programmed using DNA. Our genes are like what was and zeros are two robots. Except robots can be programmed and reprogrammed like computers. You can't do the same with humans. We are born and die with the same DNA, right? That's how it is now, yes. But the roots paper proves that human DNA can be programmed and reprogrammed too. You just have to translate DNA into binary code and that's exactly what she did. So you're saying that it's possible to reprogram humans like robots? That's more insane than anything we've ever heard before. Oh, fuck. Fuck, where's this going? And it doesn't stop there. It also means that humans could easily be merged with robot technology giving rise to a new species, biological beings that are programmable. Cyborg, huh? You mean like cyborgs in those sci-fi movies? Half human and half robot? That sounds horrifying. Wow, it really sounds horrifying, so... I know this is a huge, huge scientific breakthrough. Still, if, if, it, if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be very dangerous. Alright, we better warn Ruth to stop this research for now. It sounds way too dangerous. Whoa, it sounds very dangerous. Uh, binary code inside DNA. Where is this going? <laughs> okay, first let's go stop to Sister Doe and see who do you want to adopt, huh? Sister Doe, where can you start or you are trying to adopt? Why, yes, my order asked for us to be celebrated, but it doesn't forbid us from helping the parent place. Alice, I'm losing hope. Well, we may have an orphan for you to adopt. His name is Milo. He's very sweet and has just lost his his mother. He's a bit old, though. I'm not so young myself, Kamenkadea. Yeah, I would love to meet this young man. Oh, I don't think she's gonna like it. I don't think she even knows uh, how Milo looks like, so... Oh, good. That's just what do you need to know. He has a kind of 
deformity. See, he was a cloning expert and a cloning expert and shame on you for suggesting I never adopt an ungoodly creature compared to Katia. Now shoot, be gone with you. Oh, you refused now, so well, that didn't go as I hoped, Katarina. If only Satoli could see how sweet Milo really is, and she'd realize she, he's not a monster at all. A good idea, Katarina, we could find some proof of Milo's good character. Let's start by searching to relate this house, there might be something there. Oh, jeez. Okay, she don't know who to, who to adopt, we got Milo here, so... Okay, but she doesn't want it because it was an experiment, just because... Just for the cloning, huh? Ruth, you told Kamel Kadia that you don't fully understand what you're researching, right? This is true, I'm just following my original ideas. I know what she knew, I just don't know what it means. Well, Kamel Kadia can tell you what it means. You managed to transfer human DNA into binary code. Did I? Oh, that sounds important. And dangerous. If it fell into the wrong hands, people could easily modify humans' DNA. That's why we are asking you to stop, Ruth. For humanity's sake, some things are best left unknown. I've actually gotten bored of science being locked away in a lab all day isn't for me. I think I'll go to Ivywood and become an actress. After all, I'm very good at being someone else. Come on, let's go for some celebratory burgers. Thank you. And go away. You won't do any research, so... Just go, become an actress, win an Oscar, and... Just be famous. And go away. From me. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we gonna find there. Okay, this is sort of And says Milo, and Milo is on the picture, so... What's this going to be, huh? Okay, stocking of uh, flowers. Uh, AOR, tortoise, book bag, uh, safe, uh, surveillance camera, uh, door sign, play cards, and lock. Got it. Okay, let's see here. So, did you find anything that could own his sister doll to adopt Milo? A tall book? You better piece it back together if you want to read it. Well, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's read this tall book. So, what's this going to be about, huh? Let's see here. Birthday card, huh? Oh, the scrapbook you just showed is dull, but look, it's Milo. It looks like this creature was taken on his first birthday. Whoa, so weird to think he was already this big. And that strong is he with a made up family. You're right, maybe because the softness is dull, is hard, it is this scrapbook. Let's show it. Okay, let's show you this. Here we go. What are you going to say now, huh? Sister Dog, before you make any final judgments about Milo, we'd like you to look at this scrapbook he made. Is that him? But he's got a... he's an abomination. No, he's not. He's a sweet human being. It's not his fault he's a failed genetic expert. Why should see he suffer for it? I... well, he drew that picture. It's very sweet. Crocodile, you right. This poor boy shouldn't be blamed for what Ruth Campbell did. If he is on this earth, then he is one of God's creatures. Thank you for opening my eyes. I would be honored to become Milo's family. Oh, Milo will be so happy. Come on, let's introduce you to him. Excellent. Oh, then here's for you, Kukurukuri. My order wanted to give something back to the police for your hard work. Thank you. And now go. Go with me. I'm gonna take you to Milo. Okay, here we go. Let's go talk to him. Maybe he's a very sweet guy, no matter that, that he looks creepy. <laughs> Milo would like to introduce you to Sister Dodge. He's going to be taking care of you from now on. You found me at home? Oh, thank you, Kumarakadi. I'm so happy. Well, I'll be. The picture had a quiet repair before the shock of it all, Kumarakadi. Ah, oh, you went like this. Where are my manners? Nice to meet you, Milo. You have to tell me all your favorite foods so I can make them for you. I like fish heads and... Ah, it's Jockey, of course, Sister Dolly. Come on, Kumarakadi, our job here is done. What did you want to do now to say, huh? Fish heads and... what else? <laughs> we won't know now. Take a gig, Kumarakadi. Please take this. I made it myself, just for you. DNA necklace. Oh, that's... 
That's good. <laughs> Later at the station. Got to the end. The more I learn about science, the more terrified I get. Clones, cyborgs, pro programmable DNA. It all sounds like a futuristic nightmare. I don't know much about science, but I know only too well what happens when such power falls into the hands of greedy, incompetent, and stupid criminals. And I'm not sure people in Irish Valley know what they're doing. I, what if they're all just like uh, the current root, thinking that science is a cool toy to play with until, until they bored? This type of thing is truly really unsettling. I hope I don't live to see the day when it becomes a reality. Yeah. Oof, I just hope for that. Me too, so... Okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. Okay, only seven stars. How many do I miss? Oh, Jesus, what happened to you? Are those jellyfishes? Ouch. Okay. How much stars do I need more? So, two, okay. Okay, I can just unlock this for free. And here you go, let's let me buy some stick packs so we can open them late, later on. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. One sticker pack, and the second. And I only missed two stars to buy another one, so... We're gonna do that. Let's open new packs, so... Let's see what we got here. Okay, four new. Here we go. Okay, that's nice. Okay, the pictures, memories of our old cases in Pacific Bay. That's nice, huh? Because we are already on a case number 48. I think I think there are in Pacific Bay about uh, 59 cases. So I remember in the uh, back in Grace Road that we had only 56 cases, and this one has uh, three more. So. Okay, last one, here we go, nice, and just put it in all. Wait, we didn't receive any same ones, we didn't cut any of the them in a trash can out. Okay, okay, I need only three, three stickers for this one, so okay, we're not gonna do this right now, so we're gonna stop here, we're gonna continue playing on case number 49. Okay, thank for watching, don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.